He's a longtime friend of this program, going way back to year one of this network. Joining us, getting ready is for his 10th year as a starting quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks. Joining us on Seahawks Cam, Matt Hasselback. How are you, Matthew? You doing well? Richard, you're doing well. Good, <laughs> good to uh, be with you. It's good to uh, have you on the program. It's been too long. How are you feeling? You doing all right? It's been, a, it's been a long time. Doing great. Doing great uh, here in sunny Seattle, having fun. <laughs> yeah. And how is, how, how's your, how's, I, I, I don't usually ask this of other people, but how's your body? How's it, how, how are you, you, are you ready for the, the grind of a, of a 2010 season, Matthew? I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. You know, we're kind of in the midway point of the off-season program. We started back here March 16th, so uh -huh. we've been kind of working hard, Pete Carroll's program, and we got some time here before training camp, but uh, I think we're all going to be ready to go. I definitely feel good. I'll be ready to go. How's Camp Carroll? What's 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 the difference been for him as opposed to the two other head coaches you've had over the last three years? Well, it's uh, it is a little different. You know, there are some similarities, but I think it's uh, you know sometimes it's real intense, high energy. We're going for it. We're competing. Then at other times is uh, there's definitely a teaching tempo, and we're. Uh, you know, we're trying to learn a new offense, learn a new defense, special teams, same thing. So, but I think uh, the competitive, you know, situations that we have in practice that come up are uh, probably the thing that stand out the most right now. Have you, have you spoken to anybody about who's been uh, with a, a Carroll program at all in the past? Because the, the main issue that a lot of people have had is that Pete Carroll in his previous incarnation with the NFL was too much of a player's coach that... He really didn't lay down the law when needed. Have you noticed anything of that sort so far in the first couple months with him being there? No, I, I don't think that's a real issue at all. Um, you know, the last nine years at USC, they've been very disciplined. They've been great on the football field. Uh, you know, they've just, you know, they've had an amazing dynasty kind of run down there. So, uh, you know, I know where that talk comes from. That talk comes from New England. You know, I think he followed... Uh, followed uh, you know, Bill Parcells and that thing. I saw those interviews when those players were talking about the differences between the two head coaches. They were just looking for something to say. And, you know, I, I don't feel that at all. As a player right now in this program with the Seahawks, it's, uh, it's very tough. It's very competitive every day. We're giving it, you know, max effort all the time. Uh, there are rules. There's not a lot of them. There's just three, but that just means there's less rules to break. And, uh, you know, if you follow those three rules that he has, you're good to go. What are the rules? Well, they kind of unpack them. The first one is, uh, you know, protect the team. The second one, you know, I don't know if I can give you the rules. Actually. Why? I don't know if that's a secret. You I, might have to. He's got a he's got a book coming out. I think it's called uh, Win Forever. <laughs> it's uh, it's a good book. You, I'd say I'd put it right up. I'd put it right up yeah, there with, uh, yeah. with with your book. Your but, book is very good as well. Because you are you, um, you but, have read that book cover to cover, Matthew. My book, you've read twice. cover to cover, and you will say that to anybody with an earshot because you really haven't read the book and you're trying to jack my book. Uh, my book breaks up. No, that's not true. In fact, I was on an airplane trip mm -hmm. with, uh, I happened to be sitting next to Roger Goodell, the commissioner, <laughs> and uh, we, we both were reading the same book. Is that right? Your book. Yeah, because he flies, unbelievable. he flies commercial all the time, Matthew. So that's really odd that, that you would be sitting right next to him right that on, on one of those flights. There might be a hole in my story there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So the Seattle Seahawks are you guys content? Are you contenders for the NFC West this year? Let's put a point blank to you. A lot of people think that you, you you've taken too many steps back, too much change going on, and that this is the Arizona Cardinals division with maybe San Francisco at the top. Okay, good. Let, yeah, let them think that way. That's fine. We'll, we'll we'll go with that story. We're just gonna do our thing here. We're gonna keep working and uh, you know see how good we can be. All right, and and uh, Charlie Whitehurst, have you have you? Uh, what can you fill us in with him? A lot of people were surprised that they went ahead and did this thing with Charlie Whitehurst. Yeah, Charlie's been great. You know, we've got Charlie Whitehurst and uh, J.P. Losman right here. Those guys have been great. They're a lot of fun to be around. They're very talented, strong arms. Um, you know, they've got a quite a bit, a little more hair than I do. So, uh, right. you know, that's a little bit, you know, intimidating from time to time. But, uh, no, other than that, everything's great. They're fun to be around, and um, they've both been in the NFL for a while. So we have, you know, pretty good conversations about defenses, coordinators, that kind of stuff. So it's, uh, it's a good group right now. Okay. Well, because a lot of people were surprised that they went ahead and went and got Whitehurst and paid him what he was paid. Matthew, yeah, were you, were yeah. you, were you well, one of those? I, I was, I, 
Yeah, you, you could put me in that boat. I was surprised. <laughs> you but, were surprised. Uh, but it's been, it's been good. You know, I, I think that's just part of the NFL. You know, a lot of times, you know, you, know, you want to play GM as a player, and you think uh, you know what's right for the team, and then they go get a guy at your position, whether it's the draft or free agency or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's obviously not how you would, you know, you're a little biased. But, um, you know, your job as a player really is just to do the best that you can, push yourself, and, uh, and that's what I'm doing. That's what we're all doing. Lastly, are you concerned about the Celtics? at all Matthew I am I am sporting my Bruins shirt today I noticed um, I noticed yeah no I'm not they were up 3 0 they were up 3 0 also you know what I mean yeah I'm just pointing yeah, out that right. symmetry potential you're symmetry right. right here yeah no I'm not worried about it. you know the bigger thing right now with Pete Carroll coming in all the USC guys We've got a lot of USC coaches a lot of USC players former mm. players yes so a lot of Lakers fans here a lot of Lakers fans here in Seattle so uh it's a, it's a daily grind. Lofa Tatupu and me, uh, we're, we're really just we're trying to hold the fort down. Uh, Bill Russell lives in the area, so we'll, okay. we'll, we'll put him on our team. But other than that, we're, we're definitely outnumbered. We're, we're looking for Celtics fans in this area. Yeah, I mean, you're probably outnumbered on that front. Well, but listen, the, neither, the Lakers aren't there yet either. I mean, a lot of yeah. people talking too soon on that front too, Matthew. But I just want to get yeah, your take on a, that. It's a common theme, you know, whether it's uh, talking about the NFL projections or the NBA Finals projections. Um, you know, what matters is what people do on the football field and uh, or on the basketball court. And Man, so, uh, I love it. You know, yeah. I love it. You're, you're you're breaking it down for me. That's what I thought. I miss talking to you, Matthew. I appreciate the time. It's, it, it's been a long time, Rich. You know, it's been too long. Maybe, maybe I'll come down in studio sometime. You say that all the time. I mean, but all it's, the time. I, you know, the truth is, here's the truth. Yeah. I don't know if I can compete with those, you know, those Zenga suits that you're wearing, you know? <laughs> so, like, I'll come down there with my suit, and I'm going to be next to you with your, you know, your pimped out Zenga. And then, you know, uh, I, I don't want to, again, I don't want to poke holes through it again, but this is Prada. All right, and okay, you know I just don't want to pick any nits with you. I don't want to nitpick, but this that, is that's, that's that's very metro of you. <laughs> good good chat with you. I hope to see you soon. Seriously, down here. Thanks, Rich. That's Matthew Hasselbeck, the one and only, finishing a decade at the helm of the quarterback position in Seattle, joining us in the program. Yep.